prepare for Satan to tell you, look at you, what you are going through. Why are you still worshiping God? When you are sub Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, don't look for personal things before you serve God. Have time to serve God and serve Him well. God is God. And when you serve God sincerely, He will bless you sincerely. When someone is going through something difficult, he please. Remember that person. Can I see right behind you? Oh, maybe I try that one. You know that too.
David said in the book of Psalm 25, verse 6, Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Thank God for his tender mercies. Thank God for his loving kindnesses. For they have been ever of old. Through his mercies we are not consumed. Because his compassion faileth not. And Bible says they are new every morning. And great is his faithfulness. Once again I welcome all of you. If you are watching this live. We also salute you for being with us. May God of heaven blesses your life. And I believe that everything that you need from God. He will also remember you and touches your needs. The power of fellowship. The power of fellowship. There is something that I, I always say. Fellowship always brings success. Fellowship always do what? Brings success. There are some of you came here not even knowing the person that today is supporting your life. You came here alone. But through someone, by the grace of God today, you could do certain things that you are not expected to do. Because of fellowship, by the grace of God, when you are going through certain difficulties, at times, it's easy for you to call someone and say, that, Sister, brother, I'm going through this pandemic. I'm going through this difficulty. So remember me. Fellowship is so powerful. It's so powerful. Turn with me to the book of 1 John chapter number 1. We are reading from verses number 3 to 7. Bible said that which we have seen and heard declared, we are unto you. What I've seen, the fellowship brings what success. Fellowship brings success. There is no need for you to be idle and say that there is no need for me to fellowship with others. The very day you say that there is no need for me to fellowship with others or join myself with other colleagues for us to. Uh, comes to church and listen to the word of God you are creating a barricade between you and your helpers so this is what the Bible is teaching us that he also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with his son Jesus Christ so the fellowship we are having here it's not just coming here to hear the word of God. It's not just come and meet Pastor Frank and go home. It's not just come and see some of the faces of your friends and go home. But we are here to meet the man Jesus Christ. Are you here with me? We are not here because it's long overdue to see some of your friends. But we all are here by the grace of God to fellowship with one another at the same time to see the mind Jesus Christ and verse number 4 also says and these things write we unto you that your full joy may be full shall full beloved at times when you remain yourself idle without talking to other people Idleness can even kill certain people. Idleness. At times when you are going through certain difficult and you stay at home for a longer period, when as soon as you come to church, you see certain burden being lifted up. 
You see something that as we join ourselves dancing, chatting, clapping, see each other, it brings what success to mankind. I always say when we define success, that doesn't mean that you have everything. But even fellowship alone also brings what success. When someone smiles to you, at you, beloved, it's part of the success. It's part of the success. And this is right we unto you, that your joy may be what? Full. So God wants our joy to be what? Full. So if we want the fullness of God's blessing, then time has come for us to do what? Fellowship. 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 We should come and fellowship one another. We should come and seek the face of God. Seek the face of God. Verse number five. He says, This then is the message which we have heard of him. So we've heard the message from the man Jesus Christ. We've heard the message from his apostles. We've heard the message from great men of God. We've heard the message from the powerful people who have decided to follow the steps of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this message, this one I'm sharing with you, is not my own message. Because I fellowship with the Holy Spirit and God has granted me this permission to come here to let you know that fellowship with one another will bring what success, shall success. I can't hear you, but shall success. And Bible says, which we have heard of him and declare, and declare unto you that God is light, my God. And in him is no darkness at all. So anytime we fellowship with God, we fellowship with one another, Bible is teaching us something clearly that our God is light. When Bible says God is light, any place that you go, the light will lead you. If there is certain darkness there, because of the light, you will experience some illumination. And where there's illumination, it's easy for you to see afar. But it takes only fellowship for us to see the light. It takes the fellowship for us to go through certain things in life. Beloved, at times, you may bear with me. You were prayerful, all right. You were believer. But at times, you reach certain level in life. When you sit down, something push you to cry. Something push you to cry. You wear your life today. Things are not going the way that you want. Things have become very tough. At times you sit down and ask God many questions. But with that oneness, with that mutual understanding, with that fellowship, it brings what success, it brings what upliftment. It always causes discouragement to depart. It does what? Discouragement to do what? Depart. Because we are now mingle our life together. We are now one. We are not different people. We are now what? One. So God has put you and I to fellowship with one another. Fellowship. Fellowship. It's very tough. The power of fellowship. The power of fellowship. You cannot say that, Pastor, uh, because of something, I want to stay at home and read my own Bible and preach to myself and do everything. You can never do such a thing. You can't do it. You can't do it. Beloved, fellowship brings mutual understanding. Do not stay at home. Don't allow Satan to whisper through your ears and tell you stories. That stay at home and do your own thing. Fellowship is what success. I can hear that. Fellowship is what success. It brings what success. Verse number six. If we say that we have fellowship with Him and walk in darkness, if we say we have fellowship with Him, our God is light. Our God is positive. 
Our God is our protector. Our God is our shield. Our God is our everything. Our God is the best that supply that the thing that we need. If we say that we are fellowship with Him and we still walk in darkness, that means we are not be able to do what to fellowship with Him. Where? When you fellowship with God, He would teach you what you're supposed to do. Anytime you fellowship with God, He would direct your steps. When you fellowship with God, there are certain things, beloved, that we used to do. I don't think that you repeat what you used to do. That you think that it's not worthy. It's not good as a believer. But if you are not fellowship with God, or fellowship with other people, there are things that we used to do that does not please God, we will continue to repeat it. Positive. We have a right hand. Tell somebody, God is still blessing me. I can hear your voice. I want to ask you this question. If there is a church service and you don't come and stay at home, how do you feel? How do you feel? When there is a church service, you don't go to church, it's not locked down. And if there's lockdown, you can even lock that down. You can even lock that thing down. Are you here with me? There are some of you, they always pray that God, let the lockdown come again so that we stay at home. I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Some they will come to church all right, but within themselves, they pray that let another lockdown come so that we stay at home for some months but if you fellowship with God always pray to God that God I want to come and worship you I don't want to stay at home even if you travel on Friday or Saturday you force yourself to come to church to fellowship with your maker I always say that I, I travel a lot. Saturday, you see me here, other regions, but Sunday, you see Pastor Frank at church. You see me in the church. Because it's my obligation to lead the church to a certain destination. Fellowship brings what? Success. May our success come from today. Because you have been fellowshipping with God. Fellowship with Him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. So when you fellowship with God, beloved, you can never live in darkness. Because fellowship alone will enlighten you. Fellowship alone will give you good instruction and good direction. Fellowship alone would direct your path. But if you stay idle without draining yourself to other people for you to become strong, there are certain beloved, you can never come up from that thing successfully. That's the reason why we ought to fellowship with our maker and even one another. Give the Lord a better clap. And what the Bible is talking about here, if we say we walk with him, then when you see yourself still walking in the dark, that means you are not fellowshipping with Christ. When we say we are fellowshipping with God, we are following him, and we still walk in darkness, then time has come that we must check our relationship with God. Time has come. If you are still in darkness, then you must sit down and check your life very well. That am I right standing with God? Following the things of God is very, very important. It's very, very important. Verse number seven. But if we walk in the light, now listen to me. 
He is talking about the man Jesus Christ. He is talking about the fellowship as he is in the light. So when we fellowship with him, he is in the light. And because we are fellowship with him, the light also will come and dwell with us. And when the light come and dwell with us, the light will teach us what you and I are supposed to do as a believers. Because we have allowed the light to lead us. From today is my prayer. May the light of God lead us. I say may the light of God lead us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And uh, my God. And he is in the light. We are fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ. He said cleanses us from all sins. From all sins. Not part of the sins. But Bible say what? All sins. Anytime we come to church. And listen to the word of God. The teachings. If there is something that has bothered our system. If you want teaching, one word can even hit that sin. One word. At times when I, I go to some conferences, I will hear all the messages. But one word, one word from the speaker will hit me. Will hit me. At times one word. When I pick that one word. It will help me all the days. It's my prayer that from henceforth, may that word hit you right now. But there are some of you, when the word hit them, they become offended. Become offended. But it's my prayer that God of heaven will help us. Fellowship brings success. Acts chapter number 4, verse 32. And the Bible says, and the multitude of them that believed were of one heart. When the Bible talks about fellowship, it is also talking about one heart. In this church, all of us who carry one heart, if you are watching me live, if you and your family, your spouse, will carry one heart, no devil can even penetrate. No demon can pen, 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 penetrate one heart. And the multitude of them that believe were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that are of, of the things which he possessed was his own. But they had all things common. Shall common. I can't hear your voice. They don't say that this belongs to me, this belongs to me. No, they shared things among themselves. That is fellowship. He said, which he possessed was his own, but they had all things what in common. Fellowship. Let's share everything in common. Say, Pastor, what are you talking about? It's good. Christianity is not just getting worse. You alone. You alone. But at times we should do what we should support others. And people think that once you are a man of God, when they ask you anything, you must provide. And at times when we, when we tell them that we don't have the thing that we are lying, it takes the grace. Now that thing I want to share with you, fellowship provides mutual support. Fellowship provides what mutual support. That mutual support. I can't hear your voice. Fellowship. There are some people they will never support you unless you are in their group. There are some they will never bless you unless you join their court. There are some even if you are dying, they will sit down for you to die. Fellowship provides what? Mutual support. Romans chapter number 12 verse 10. He said, be kindly affection one to another. With brotherly love. Shout brotherly love. I can't hear your voice. When Bible says brotherly love, we should support each other. When your sister is going down, don't 
way for the person to go down and go down and go down for the person to die. When your brother is going down, don't wait for the brother to go down and down before when that person is gone before you support the person. No. No. At times, not only money, but encouragement works can bring the persons back. At times, your prayer support can bring the persons back. Bible says, be kindly affection one to another. We brother love. In honor, preferring one another. Anytime we come to church, we should support each other. Even if someone is fighting against that sister set up by you, beloved, fight for that sister. If someone is fighting against that sister, fight for that sister. We should fight for each other. We should not ignore. We should not reject people. We invite you to our meetings. Tuesday evening teaching service. And every Thursday is our miracle service. Healing always taking place and prophetic word always, always taking place. Join us Thursday, the day that people experience total healing, deliverance. Join us one of these days because God has something good for you. And our Sunday services, Sunday is the first service and second service, 6.30 and 8.30 respectively. Join us and God will bless you. We will see each other at Positive Gospel International Church. God bless you. God keep you. We were the last time you decided to pray. Don't sit there for Satan to tell you, look at you, what you are going through. Why are you still worshiping God? <laughs>